Today's episode of NCIX Tech Tips is going to be about SLI and Crossfire. So these are two competing multi-GPU technologies. We're going to treat this as sort of an FAQ for some of the most frequently asked questions and the answers. Let's talk a little bit about the basic concept of SLI and Crossfire. Now, everyone's trying to build faster and faster graphics cards all the time. In fact, here in front of me today I have the GTX 480 from NVIDIA, their fastest GPU, and I have the Radeon 5870 from AMD, their fastest GPU. So what SLI and Crossfire allows you to do is take one of these fastest GPUs, pair it up with another one, and get better performance than you could possibly build on a single video card. So you can see here the system I have on my right, your left, is running two GTX 480 graphics cards. That means in 3D games you're going to get, in theory, as much as double the performance from these two cards running together as you could have with a single card. One of the most common questions people ask me is which cards can I run together in SLI? And I'm going to give you a bunch of different scenarios here that should explain all the different ways that you can take cards and put them together and get better 3D performance. So, first of all, number one. These are two Radeon 5870s. Now, they are not identical. You can see that the end of this one has two DVI connectors, a display port connector, and an HDMI connector, and this one has six mini DisplayPort connectors. Now, these two cards also have different amounts of RAM. This is a one gig card, and this is a two gig card. However, these two can run in Crossfire together because they both use a 5870 GPU. Now, bear that, keep, keep that thought, okay? Hold on to that thought. I have two cards here. These are both GTX 480s, and they are identical cards, they have the same outputs, they have the same power connectors, everything is the same except for one thing. This one right here, you can see, is an MSI, and I'm going to tilt up my test bed here so that you can see the sticker on the top of the other card. This one is powered by Zotac. So these two cards are identical, but they're from a different brand. They will run SLI just fine. Now I'm going to give you scenario number three. These ones are the same brand. These are both MSI graphics cards, but they have different coolers. They actually have completely different PCB layouts. Uh, you can see that the Twin Frozer 2 card here is physically longer than the other card. Okay, so these are, are completely differently manufactured cards, but they're both GTX 460s. And I keep coming back to both the same GPU. These will run SLI just fine. So you can't take a 460 and run it with a 480. You can't take an NVIDIA card and run it with an ATI card. The most important thing is making sure that you have matching GPUs. So that means you can have mismatched vendors, mismatched RAM, mismatched PCB layout. None of that's important. You just need to have the same GPU. Now that we've covered the graphics cards, let's get into some detail about motherboards. So I'm going to start with the most basic configuration that you can use to run SLI or Crossfire. This is a P55 motherboard, and it can run up to two-way SLI or two-way Crossfire, that is two cards working together, with its two PCI Express 16X ports. Now something I want to clarify, I've gotten a ton of questions about this, is what happens if your PCI Express 16X ports are only running at half the bandwidth, 8X? Because every P55 motherboard on the market has this limitation, where each graphics card gets only half the bandwidth when you install two. Now the reality of it is, there is no performance difference except in highly synthetic benchmarks, and even then it's very small. So if you are running two-way Crossfire or two-way SLI, a P55 board is a great choice. Now the other board I have with me here today is a Big Bang X Power. This is from MSI. That's actually the one that I have my test platform running on here. I'm going to turn this to the side and I want you to take note of how many PCI Express slots there are on this motherboard. You can't really see it very clearly, but I'll explain. There are actually six. So because each of these cards is dual slot, that means that if I moved over this card one, I could actually install yet one more card. So this one supports three-way SLI or three-way three Crossfire. So that is three cards working together to produce the same 3D image. Now as far as, I mean I can't even call this a, 
a normal motherboard because this is an enthusiast class board. But as far as uh, more normal motherboards go, three-way is the most you can get except in some very, very unique exceptions. Now this is an EVGA classified X58 four-way. This motherboard is actually physically longer than a normal ATX motherboard, and that's what allows you to be able to install up to four cards in this particular motherboard. Now, one last thing, X58 does not have that same limitation of P55, so that's what allows you to take your PCI Express slots and split them more ways. So you can either have two running in 16x, or you can have four running in 8x, 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 8x. Remember, 8x doesn't really have a major impact on performance if you can measure it at all. So that covers most of the motherboard technologies to do with SLI and Crossfire. Now, as you can imagine, in the race to make faster and faster graphics cards, we've had to cool them down and power them. So you can see here I have an Antec Quattro 1200 watt power supply, and the reason I mention that is because with SLI and Crossfire, you can't be using the same entry-level power supply that you can if you're running a single graphics card. So I've got my power meter here, and I'm just going to lift this up so the camera can have a look. We have actually seen the power draw of this system peak above 800 watts. Were you looking when it went that high? So above 800 watts with an 80 plus silver power supply. So that means that the power supply actually has to provide upwards of around 750 watts at peak in a gaming scenario when you're running a high-end SLI or Crossfire configuration. That means that bearing in mind that you don't want the power supply to run really loud, so if you were to buy a 750 watt power supply to run this system, it would be running at 100% whenever you're gaming, which means the fan would ramp way up, also remembering that a power supply doesn't necessarily provide its entire output for all of its life. They tend to degrade a little bit. So, you always want to buy a power supply that's a little bit too big for what you're using now. It gives you room to upgrade, it gives room for it to degrade as it ages naturally, and it's going to run a lot quieter. And the last thing I want to cover briefly is, how do I set up Crossfire SLI? Because I get these messages an awful lot. So if you have one graphics card, pretty easy. Make sure your motherboard supports the technology you're looking for because not all boards support both SLI and Crossfire. The ones we've shown today do, but not all of them do, so check with your motherboard manufacturer. Next step is buy a matching GPU, and we've already covered all of the requirements to make sure that your GPU or video card matches. Last but not least, you're going to need an SLI or a Crossfire bridge. So I'm just going to show you. Oh, I dropped my keyboard on my foot. That hurt. That's okay. I'm good. So I'm going to show you very briefly how to do that. Once you've installed both graphics cards in your system, you go into your motherboard box or your graphics card box. Sometimes it comes with either one. You find the SLI bridge, or in this case, Crossfire bridge. And then you install it, one bridge, onto each card. Okay? Now the cards may have two connectors. You can see that these cards actually have two Crossfire connectors, but that is for three-way configurations. So when you're running a two-way configuration, you only need one bridge. All right, and last but not least, you will need to go into your NVIDIA or ATI driver. And with both of them, it's really simple because we have an NVIDIA system running right now. I'm going to show it to you on NVIDIA. But you go into the control panel, you go into set SLI, and because it's NVIDIA, also physics configuration. And you go from disable SLI to maximize 3D performance and click apply. That's it. That's how simple it is to configure SLI and Crossfire is much the same. Thank you for checking out our episode today on SLI and Crossfire or uh, multi-GPU video gaming technologies, if I wanted to be more professional sounding. <laughs>